We back, we back. Minecraft's not open yet, but we back. Come on, curse. Please launch. Please. Please. Curse Forge, please. <laughs> Thank you. I think. I don't know. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Dude, Overwolf is just a black square on my screen. That's all it is. Oh, there we go. Come on. Minimize. Please. Close. Minimize. Close. Close, please. Thank you. Curse is now launching. Please. Forging my library. Dude, this is gonna take ages. None of that matters if you can't write music well. <sighs> I really do need to upgrade because holy crap, it takes ages to launch freaking anything, dude. So Curse Forge take any longer, please. <laughs> Curse Forge, I swear to God. You know, I might just mute and go get a snack or something, because this is just... start on Minecraft and I'm gonna mute and go get a snack because I didn't beforehand because I didn't have time but
All right, guys, we're back. <clears throat> I'll see if this works. It launched properly. I'm streaming for 20 minutes. Still no fucking... Ah, God. We're only going to go till 4 anyway, so... Another half an hour. I think Twitch is also having issues, so. <sighs> yeah, because if I pull up Twitch, it, it doesn't have anything on the following page. If I refresh it, nothing. It says I'm offline. Why did it give me all my... what? What? Huh? What? It, it got rid of all the... It got rid of all of my saved recipes. Are you joking? salt mixer fluid and richer actually no I didn't make that one <sighs> did I make a fluid infuser no don't think I need a centrifuge I already made that vision controller should be 10 machines, and it is. Okay. <sighs> and then there's the stupid thermal crap that it was supposed to be up there. Um, like that. That. Um, that one, and... There was one more upgrade I was trying to get, and I don't remember what it was. I also know I was still needing to make a... Uh, fractionating still a centrifugal separator and a glacial precipitator I don't remember what else was up there I mean there was a light from uh, from enter AO the light inverted there was a basic redstone interface, basic redstone interface. There was quartz lamps. There was, um, crap, what else was there? I know there was more, but I don't remember what it was. All right, so yeah, energetic confuser, that's already full, got that, don't need that. All right, rock crusher is pretty much done. Alright, so we need to melt down the crushed arsenic. Just one of them. Yep, and one boron to make boron arsenide. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this side configuration, output tank. We're going to clear all of it. And same with the input, same with those. Because we don't want it interacting with that anything in the, any other way besides the way we want it. We want it to output to the right, into the chemical reactor. And then the chemical reactor, we need to... Get rid of all of them. Oh, there. And then the left one, input. Left one, input. Output tank on the right. Alright, and then we should have a conduit, but apparently we don't. Uh, shift click. Alright, there we go. Yeah, for some reason it reset all of my advancements. Yep. It reset every single one of my advancements. <sighs> okay, but then this will be extracting always, and then this one will be inserting. Yep, and then the ingot former, we want to clear it. 
uh, we want it to be left input no outputs um, yeah, no outputs all right and then the ally furnace we're gonna actually gonna change all this too just so we don't accidentally put something in the manufactory and then it goes over to here or something okay and then the manufactory okay and then the rock crusher too I guess Okay, uh, well, that's yeah, fine. All right, so in order to make the boron arsenide, right, we need to do that, which then makes that, which then in the alloy furnace makes thermal conducting, and I only need one for right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to take, in the melter, we're gonna put one crushed arsenic. We're gonna grab some boron, just one. Um. I was supposed to have it in my inventory, and I might have used it all. Um, that's weird. It probably was in my inventory, and then when the crash happened, it's probably just deleted it. Well, no, it's just in here. So now there should be boron, or sorry, molten arsenic into here. There is not. Why isn't there? Output on the right. Yes, chemical reactor. Input on the left. Why is it not? I thought it... What? what I did and then the chemical reactor needs to go in there please output to the right please fix yourself yeah this is dumb I don't understand why it's not working normally this always works Molten arsenic. Boom. It should pull in. Nope. Why is that being so dumb? What? Top's gonna be an output because I'm gonna have it go into a stupid tank or something until I can get this crap sorted. I can put it into my thing and then I can't click it into there unless I do input on the top. Boom. Clear that one and put on the top. Put in a single boron. Have it melt down. Boom, boom. Right, now that, yep, that emptied out just fine. Obviously, it's going kind of slow because it's a viscous liquid. That's fine. It'll get there within time. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And boom. Yep, and then it turns into boron arsenide. Finally, holy crap. Okay, so we need a boron. We're going to put away the rest of that. We need a... Do we have a diamond in there? No. Um, but we do need a steel. All my steel disappeared, I guess. I... Actually, uh... The... No, it's this one. Where's the output chest of the... No, that one's... That one's the input chest for the factorizer. This is the output right there. Yes, okay. Steel, yep. We got a steel. Um... We need some lithium to make tough alloy. And then we need... Two graphite. Um, okay, and then we need a diamond from over here. Diamond. Yeah, see, look, it, it reset my advancements. 
That's so dumb. Okay, boron with a steel. Makes feral boron. Feral boron makes lithium. Or tough alloy. Uh, U plus U2 makes it a hard carbon. Hard carbon plus tough alloy. Extreme alloy and then extreme alloy plus boron arsenide makes two thermoconducting alloy. Finally. Right, we'll put all that crap away. Okay. So why did we need that? Well, because we needed to make an air canister which makes the Amazon tablet. Okay, so an uh, this requires compressed iron, which is actually in uh, this chest. No, this one. Yes. So I'll just take a stack of that. Um, then I need tubes. Uh, I didn't want all of them, but that works, I guess. Uh, tubes. Okay, we have enough for that. GPS tool requires us to get plastic. For plastic. Yes. No, I want all of it. Um, a redstone torch and a, s a glass pane. Do we have an extra glass pane? Yes. Now we need a diamond and a redstone torch. We have one. Um, so we need a diamond now, and then... Uh, our gray plastic as well. Okay. Diamond. So, oops. GPS tool. Yep. Air canister. Yep. Amazon tablet. Get. Shoot, I didn't have the air canister in my inventory for long enough. Pie, yeah, because you're supposed to get that and then... That's fine, because... No, no. Um, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to give it unbreaking and mending. Which seems like a weird combination for a... Uh, no, that's holding. Unbreaking and mending. I need 40 levels. Um, which seems like a weird combination considering it's based off of pressure. But actually, the mending works to give it pressure for some, some stupid reason. I, I don't know. Don't ask me. Uh, we don't have enough books. I have a thing for this now. I forget. Okay. Uh, well, I have to go up and get levels anyway. Okay. Let's go back over to here. Let's place down some books. Oh, that's not what I wanted. With that having mending... Wait. Hold on. Can I just use this one print press chase? If I only ever do it in two books at a time? Hold on. Let's figure this to be disabled. No, you can't. It says you can, but it, you can't. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So let's throw that in, oh, in there and then the ink sacks right there. Now we need to duplicate the unbreaking. So once this is done, we'll throw this in there. Boom. So now we have mending. I'll put those back in there and take one out. We need eight levels, I believe. Okay, we got eight levels now. Oh, uh, yes, we were on this island. It was just over here. Done, please. Finish. Yes. All right, there's an unbreaking. So we're going to put the, un the mending onto the unbreaking, and then on the Amazon tablet, boom. So as you can see, it has zero pressure. Now, in order to charge it normally, you need a charging station. From... Pneumatic craft, uh, right down here. Which, don't get me wrong, is really easy to craft, but like, why set one of these up when you can literally just get free pressure from just using mending? You know, um, because we can literally just throw that into there, and it's, 
It's hard to see because it's not actually like going up, but there you go, point 0.1 bar. So we also need to make another um, thingy majiggy. I'll show you what we can make another one of. Uh, Feral boron. Oh wait, no, we don't. No, we don't need that. Um, tough, and then hard. Why can't I pull out a single item? What? There we go. <laughs> it wasn't letting me pull out a single item. We needed to make another air canister. Oh. Yeah, that's why I needed boron. Uh, please give me... Why? Why would you not... Why do you not want to do that? There. Give me a boron. Um, also, can you give this mending? No, I already, I already looked at that. Never mind. Uh, and then we need a... Arsenic. So, this guy needs to melt... I can put it like that. Yeah, of course I can. And then it will go into the ingot farmer and work. We need to make another air canister. I think I already said that. But we gotta wait for this to finish. Um, but I really want to get a, a storage scanner and use it on this stuff so that I can just grab out tons of redstone and stuff. Hmm. For another day, I suppose. Let's just throw that in there and take it back out. And here we go. 64 blocks of coal coke. Let's throw those right into there. Look at all the lava it's used already. Lord. Alright. Boron arsenide and extreme alloy makes thermal conducting. Thermal conducting makes an air canister. And we already have the Amadron tablet. We need this guy, which costs 14 emeralds, or 9. Don't know why that's different, but it is, I guess. Alright, so, yeah, this guy has been slowly filling up. He's only at 0.9 bar, but I mean, if you leave him there for a long time, he'll fix himself. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these, because I don't need any of them. Um, and is that this side, or is that that side? I I hate that I clicked on the wrong side. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a... I want it to be one of these tanks, I think. But the drums are just so enticing. Um. Hmm. Because with the Amadron tablet, you need to set up a chest that can send and receive emeralds. And then you need, um. A tank if you're transferring it, like, um, oil or something. Okay, so let's put the emeralds in there. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, technically we can use this in the chart. If we wanted to make um, pneumatic boots, pneumatic armor, and a reinforced one. Um, wireless transfer capabilities. Wirelessly transfer air. That makes perfect sense. Um, all right, let's grab the Amazon tablet. Not from there. Not from there. Right here. So it's at 1.5 bar, right? When you access its menu, it uses uh, RF or er, bar. So we're gonna shift right click that chest that is now the providing location, and we can place an order for different things like a PCB blueprint. Sorry. Let's uh. Let's uh, order one of those. How do I order again? I think you... 
How do you... How do you... Oh, right click. Place order. So now I'm down to 1.2 bar. I used 0.3 bar. But what you'll see is a drone will appear. An Amadron drone. And it took away my emeralds. And then another one will appear. Then a second here. Unless it did a, a swap. Nope, another one will appear. There it is. And it dropped off the assembly program. Which requires a whole bunch of machines and capacitors and stuff. It's really annoying to do, but it, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Um, Is there anything else on the Amadron tablet that we'd like? Because we can turn things into emeralds. We can buy oil with emeralds if we ever need it. Um, ooh, black quartz ore. That's pretty cool. Void crystals. Kibara jam. Iron shovels, more programs, and then, yeah, yeah. You can you can turn in LPG and fuel and stuff, but you can also just buy lubricant, which is probably really easy. And yeah. Also, one emerald for one bucket of oil, but then five buckets of oil for one emerald. <laughs> so, no, 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 going the other way. Custom trades. Oh. Oh, interesting. Alright. But let's go put this back up in the charging thing. <laughs> I.e. the fluid tank. And then we'll just let it sit there for a while. Uh, no, I don't want it to be disabled. I just want it to just kind of naturally do it. Let's just go ahead and kill these guys. Oh, we want it activated. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No. Nope. Alright. Exactly Why do I hear Vsauce in my ear? Why did somebody use Vsauce in their, in their music? Who would use Vsauce in their music? How dare they? Alright. Let's check on our crops here. What about our Patinia seeds? These should be nearing completion. I'm gonna guess like a 989 or a 899. 1078, okay. We'll go all the way to the end and see if that works. Uh, these guys should be done. These Jazz Lumine seeds. Yep, those are done. No, what? 10, 10, 8. Uh, I'll make them go to there. Okay, these copper ones should not be done. Yeah, 5 through 5, they shouldn't be done. Neither should the mystical flower ones, because I planted them before I logged off yesterday. 10, 6, 9. Okay, okay. And then... Mystical flower seeds. Boom. Oh, four, four, six. All right. Let's keep going. Got like ten minutes to go. So we have a whole crap ton of. Uh, nuggets and stuff and essences yeah the copper essence I can take out too because uh, copper essence you can just turn right into copper ingots and it's that easy the mystical flower ones you can turn right into mystical flowers which is awesome dirt you can turn into dirt grass coarse dirt pods all mycelium gravel mushrooms clay sand and red sand Stone, you can turn into cobblestone, stone, granite, diorite, andesite, cracked stone bricks, chiseled stone bricks, flint, gravel, mossy stone, and mossy stone bricks. But we don't really need any of that, so let's leave it in there for now. Um, I already got that done. Um, yeah, those are all the ones that we still have yet to do. Uh, let's clone all those. And then in Theta, I 
We got the rancher yesterday. Kappa, we got those two machines made. Uh, and yeah, that's all the new stuff for today. Sorry that it's been three streams today and they've all been choppy. It's... My computer's been... It's either my computer or Twitch has been not very friendly to me today. Air canister, that... Pressure tubes and compressed ingots, I guess. I just don't really need them there. Yeah. Alright. Um, I already have a couple of those. I have... I can make those really easily. Those are for the house. Um, I need to make all of those guys, and then those are what we have yet to make, too. Um, we really should make some headway towards blood magic. Uh, because we can now, because the sacrificial dagger requires solium, which solium requires prudentium essence. Um, which means we need uh, some more of that nerdiconium. <laughs> um, let's see. Mew, we just need to get the spacious crystal and the runestone crafter for it to be done. Gamma, we just need the stamper. I think stamp base. Beta, we need to work on Woot. That's fine. Uh, there's a dank dock. Diamond and infinite tier upgrades. We never made a diamond tier upgrade. Delta, we're working on Epsilon. I don't really care about. I, it's fine. I got modular machinery. Um, infinite water generator. We already have one of those, but not that one. Yeah, these are fine. Um, Zeta, we don't need to work on any of these guys, as far as I know. Not even Portality. Ada, I mean, we could make a crystalline capacitor. I'm, a melodic wouldn't make a totemic, but we could make a melodic and then stellar. But currently, I'd rather avoid that. Uh, oh, we needed to make the slice and splice. Aha. Okay. So, electrotine, we need eight. Let's make that before we quit today. We need four osmium. Let's go put that in the alloy furnace. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Or electric team. And I realize I don't have to come down here anymore, but I'd rather. Um, iron bars. One, two, three, four. Why did. Oh, a bat died and I picked up its bag. Um, we need two iron and then 16 redstone. We can shove those through the furnace. Get out of here. And then we need a grains of infinity. Grony the capacitor. Simple machine chassis. Oh, wrong one. Uh, there. Then we need a solitude die blend. Which we have. We need four solarium and iron bars and energiz energized by metal gears. So iron, we're gonna need you. Uh, we're not gonna need those, we're gonna need that. So one of those, and we need two grains of infinity. Then we need 16 electrum, so eight gold and eight silver. <laughs> um, but then we also need four more gold for the solarium. Uh, did I grab an extra iron bars? I did not. Then we need a skull, which we have plenty. Yeah. Um, we need eight electrotine, eight redstone, and 16 glowstone. Uh, we need four soul sand. So let's throw this into there. You and you. We need another redstone and 16 glowstone. Boom. Okay. 
Solarium, and then let's make the Electrum. Throw the Electrum into there, throw the Glowstone in there, throw the Redstone in. Uh, we need the two grains of infinity. Oop, we want that off. Yep. Activate it again. Um, we need the infinity bimetal gears. Variously mechanical. And we need the eight electrotine ones. I don't remember what they're called. In the induction smelter, we can throw the solar tune dive blend guy in there. Soul Machine Chassis. Boom. Boom. Slice and Splice. Alright. So we officially have the Slice and Splice. This also requires a capacitor. Um, let's just look at what capacitors we have over here. Um, enhanced Planting? Nope. Nice Smelting? Good and Stage Bolt? Nope. Uh, premium Hungry Advanced Capacitor. Premium smelting, enhanced hungry, premium cooking. Uh, we want the clean cut. Nice clean cut capacitor. Dud, we don't want that. Uh, is there any capacitors in here? No. There isn't here, though. A lot. Simple explosive. Unstable, hungry, incredibly clean cut. This is the exact one we want. Boom. So it can use 645 IF per tick. Well, IF. Uh, micro infinities per tick. It can hold 493,386 micro infinities. And then, yeah, I, don't, I think that might be it. But it also needs a shears and an axe. So let's go ahead and turn a magnet off. Nope, no, I don't know. You. <laughs> We're gonna. No, that's not what I, that's not the recipe for an axe. Axe with a shears. So these will eventually wear out, but it's fine. The reason we needed to make this is um, we needed to get zombie electrodes in order to make the mob slaughter factory. Um, but the mob slaughter, yeah, zombie electrodes, which require basic capacitors. Twitch is finally working. Well, good, because I'm ending stream in, like, two minutes. <laughs> ah, Twitch, you you bug me. But we, we need two of these, so we can make two of those very shortly. But then we need to make some crystalline alloy. So how to make crystalline alloy? You need five crystalline alloy ingots. Crystalline alloy ingots are made in the alloy smelter with gold and grains of pisality. Grains of pisality is either sag milling or manufacturing down a pulsating crystal requires empowered diametine, pulsating iron, and electrotine. Now that there's a better elect res electrotine recipe, that's not bad, and that's not bad either. Uh, electro empowered diametine isn't bad, it's just slow. Um, machine frame, easy, platinum, all this stuff is easy, it's just doing it. Um, is there anything else we really need to do today? Uh... I don't know. I don't really think so. Um, not that I can think of, no. Ah, let's check if this is done. Let's turn on our magnet. Hopefully these are done please. 10, 10, 10. Perfect. So we're going to duplicate it. Perfect. So those can go right into there. Let's dig up all of our gravel. Dig up the aluminum ore. The aluminum ore away. And then we have no more of those kind of things, so let's just throw in water seeds. Which means we need to go ahead and grab out this and then set it to dirt, and it is... Oops. Oops. And then we need to grab an obsidian hoe. And then, good. Let's place down a crop stick, water seeds, and then get these going. Boom, perfect. So these are nearly done, those are nearly done. 
Those are not nearly done, sorry. These are nearly done, those are getting going. These ones are about halfway, this is getting going. Sweet. Um, so all of these aluminum nuggets can now be crafted down into aluminum ingots, because we we're, are no longer farming them, so we no longer need them to be in here. Boom. Happy. Um, yeah, we eventually also need to do the flax seeds, but that's fine. Um, oh yeah, we need a solium dagger, a sol we need some solium, but that requires more draconium, which means I need to sieve down more endstone. I'm gonna sieve down a whole bunch of our crushed endstone, our crushed endstone off camera, um, like f completely fill up the crates down there, um, just so we can get some more draconium because then we can infuse pyrothium into it, blah blah blah. Um, so, yeah, 56 stacks. 6 stacks of sulfur isn't much, but it works. Um, okay, all those loot bags. Hmm. Anything of interest to us right now? No. Nope. Um. Hmm. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I think that's going to be it for today. Um. Oh, hey, you know what we can do? Um. We can put speed upgrades on this thing if we really need to. Um, the only reason we do that is just we can get chickens faster for more uh, of the spawn eggs. But, yeah, unfortunately that's going to be it for today. I was not expecting to do so little, but the computer and Twitch kind of were messing up a little bit. So, um, I apologize for that, but I guess we, we deal with the cards we are dealt. Um, so... Yep, that's going to be it for me today. I appreciate all of you who stopped by um, to watch this kind of content. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I'm going to keep the glasses on. The glasses are funny. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to leave a follow down below so you can get notified the next time I go live. Uh, I went live three times today because of the crap, but still. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, you'll get notified the next time I go live. If you think your friends may enjoy this kind of content, make sure to spread the channel around so you can grow the community. Um, on my about page, I have an Instagram and a Discord. Uh, Discord is for any member of the community, any member of the, the Super Boxer family um, who just wants to get in there. There's different categories to talk in, all that sort of stuff. Any questions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's one announcements tab, and that's what the Instagram is also used for, is announcements. Um, like, hey, I won't be streaming today. So if you're in the Discord um, and you have like notifications on, you don't have to worry about following the Instagram, or if you'd want to follow the Instagram and not join the Discord, that's fine. Uh, it'll be the exact same announcements on both. Um, it's just that Instagram will have cat pictures to go along with that. So if you want to watch or see cat pictures, uh, then follow the Instagram. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I apologize for the errors and stuff today. I'm going to have to try and get my storage situation sorted and see what's wrong with Twitch. But <laughs> we'll see. But, yeah, no, I thank you uh, to all of you who dropped by as usual. And uh, this is Noah. Or this is Ben Noah, I should say. I mean, yes, it is Noah, but it is Ben me. And uh, as always, have a super day. Thank you. Bye.